Welcome back, John Cleese Car Audio, to another example of a Kenwood installation. Shameless plug for all your tyre needs in Reading, mobile, service. Now I'm going to show you what we've done to DJ Tyres' van. If we step inside. There we go. Kenwood 10 inch floating tablet style screen, the DNX 9720. Let's turn it on. suits these big dashboards but we have been putting them in other cars like Mark 5 Golfs and that now actually and Fiat 500s and believe it or not they do suit even a smaller dashboard but these are definitely more suited. Let's agree and get it turned on so we're going to go straight to booting up and it's remembered where it last was which is the HDMI input. Now we've uh, hardwired an Amazon Fire Stick into this so customer when waiting for his job or you know waiting for supplies to turn up with his tyres can boot up Amazon Fire Stick, grab the remote and be going through the apps, share the internet from his mobile phone for a personal hotspot, and yeah, Bosch, YouTube, Channel 4, BBC, Netflix, Disney, everything you could possibly want, really. I think they've even got games on here, in all fairness. So yeah, never a, never a boring moment now when you've got one of these plugged in. So if we go to the home button, we can then go to the main home screen of this Kenwood. So you've got DAB, it's common, uh, popular, Apple CarPlay, uh, Android Auto it also supports as well. If I get my phone connected, what we'll do, is just unlock my phone, I'll show you Apple CarPlay working actually. Just hit this symbol as simple as that. It makes it visible. Then all I do is I go on to Bluetooth on my phone. Wait for it to appear, which is at the bottom there. Select that. It'll come, do you want to pay? I say yes. Yes on here. Allow my contacts. And then after a bit, as long as it works, it will come up with use CarPlay. There you go. So use CarPlay. Yes. And then wait for it to do its handshake. Home button and Bosch. There we go. Apple CarPlay will boot it up. So now I've got access to, or the customer will have access to, all his navigation apps that he'd want to use, like Google, Waze, Apple Maps, and even TomTom, if you don't mind paying for it, internet radio apps and all the music apps. For example, there's mine, I can go to my collection, playlist. If you've already got car players, it's pretty obvious to you, but if you don't, it's a good introduction to what the CarPlay screen looks like. Yeah, popular unit is Kenwood, especially the fact it's got a rotary dial, so if like your Mercedes Sprinter, you don't have steering wheel controls, trying to find a touch sensitive button or clicking a volume can be quite annoying when you're trying to drive, so having that easy access rotary volume control is really useful. Great unit. That's John Cleese signing off. See you later.